Okay, we got a split chair here. We're gonna we're gonna figure out a way to fix it. Come on in. This is broken all the way across. We're gonna put some type of wood glue in here, and we're gonna drill here, like a pilot hole, about to here, and then we'll put wood screws in there after we glue it. Let's get a view from this side. What you don't want is to sit in this chair, sit in this crack, and man, it squeezes your cheeks together. Ouch. We're gonna find a way to fix it so it matches the looks of these three chairs. Battery's kinda of weak, and the bit is dull. Don't really have the right screws. These are deck screws. It's big enough to hold the head. Can you see inside it? Let's do another one here. I'm gonna make sure you're not going on an angle, keeping it straight. That's probably good enough. Let's see if it's gonna make it. Maybe a little bit deeper. Is there really a right way? There's probably woodworkers that would do a better job. You know what? We're just figuring it out. Fix this furniture, make it beautiful. It's all natural, all wood. So this one we need to approach on an angle. Start like this, and slowly, in an angle. Watch you don't hit your hand. We're gonna put some Gorilla wood glue in there. You could use Elmer's wood glue, whatever. Okay, we're gonna pour it into this crack. When we put the glue in here, it's gonna all seep out. We're gonna put a piece of tape across here. So when we dump the glue in, it doesn't drip all out. We can remove it later. So we're gonna take this chair and put it up on this makeshift horses. We're not gonna worry about pulling it together now. This is just kind of to cover the crack so the glue doesn't all spill out. It's okay that some glue seeps out on the bottom, but we'll take care of that a little bit later. So, all right, let's turn this over. Hopefully it holds, <laughs> you know. I don't know. These tips, even though you keep them clean on the glue, kind of get stuck. I kind of do this thing. I'm gonna just temporarily draw a line there with hope, the tape on the bottom is preventing the glue from dripping out. You know, before we put the screws in, tape on the bottom is a temporary barrier just to hold it in place. Let's see, and uh, look at behind us to see if it's actually going in. I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit. You can see it's, it's about halfway down. You want it to go in at least two thirds of the way Otherwise it won't be effective. I'm gonna move this up and down. Yeah, you can see a close up in there. Can you see it's like two thirds down in there? Can you see it? Well, it's seeped down on top, look. So it must be going in there. I'm gonna push it in there. Wipe it on my shirt so my wife kills me later. Okay, this is a, a large clamp. Get this at Harbor Freight or Home Depot Lowe's. Cheaper at Harbor Freight. Open it up, you squeeze this thing here. You kind of line it up here and crank the handle. Line it up. We'll do this one end first. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Put your finger on it, see if it's lined up. See, it's different there, but we're gonna get this guy in first. Okay. Pull this guy out. We're stuck. Ugh. This is where you stab yourself in the leg. Hello, we'll be back. Let me get a different one. Okay, let's do this guy in the back. Undo this. Boom. This stuff is running down the leg. You can always take that off. Should we go underneath? Let's go underneath. Look at that gap there. I guess we could sand that out, don't you think? I've got my finger here on the seam to feel that it's not too high or low. We'll wipe up this glue that's dripping later. All right, let's see what's going on. Come up here. Just kind of fill this in now. Scrape it off with a putty knife. 
We'll sand this later. We'll see how it works. Look underneath. It's holding the glue in. Let's get this in here. You can scrape the excess off with a probably a putty knife. Let me go get one. Here's some beautiful birds singing in the background. Kind of cool, huh? There's a seam here. Again, we're going to get the sander. And we'll sand down that edge. And with hope, you know, it'll hold the weight. This is either going to be a win or a lose. See this gap where the seam is, the crack? I'm just getting my putty knifing. Kind of drawing a little line. Just enough so wood filler would go in there. Probably shouldn't use those deck screws. Probably get some criticism. It's what works, man. It's what works with what you have at the time when you're doing it. So we're gonna let this dry, but let's check that seam with the tape. Just gonna kind of smooth that out. Later, this tape will come off. Right now, we're just using it to hold the glue in there still, so. It's been about 45 minutes. I'm gonna pull this off. Putting it on the horses, let this dry. Look at this, it's been about an hour and a half, and it's actually a good thing that the Gorilla Glue was in the sun. It dried clear and hard. And uh, maybe by the end of the day, we can sand this lightly, sand this here, and then uh, wood fill these holes. Okay, this is done. It, um, it's been about 24 hours it's dried. Uh, the tape really worked well underneath there. Screws held well, the three screws. Here it's a little rough, but we're gonna sand this portion first and we'll uh, sand these edges. I should grind this down here. This lip, it's like an 80 or a hundred. Once we get this ground and that ground in the back, we'll sand this and then we'll blow this crack out with air and then we'll use some wood filler. Okay, we're gonna do the back. I'm gonna press against that. Now we're gonna sand the top. It's pretty smooth, use your fingers. Feel like you better get the glue off. Paper still looks good. Uh, I'm gonna clean it. So we got the wood filler. We blew out the crack. I'm gonna fill in these seams. I got a damp paper towel. It's a little bit more than damp, it's a little bit wet. I'm gonna wipe out the crack. We're also gonna fill these holes here, right? Gonna force this in with our fingers. Should get a putty knife and force this in here also, but your finger is one of the greatest tools ever made by God. If we were gonna stain this, we wouldn't do that so sloppily, of course. Now we're gonna have to do this in stages, maybe three coats can't fill it all in in one shot it shrinks a little bit all right let's let this dry we're not going to let it dry in the sun because it'll dry too quickly and it'll turn to powder gotta open the garage door and stick it in the shade what are we using here 120 i'm going to sand this by hand and it's cool because the seam is filled in Feel it with your finger. I think I got some glue here on the side. Using a putty knife, I'll try to put too much in it once. We're gonna put a third coat. That's good. Good, got that one, that one.
I'm Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips. Thanks for watching.